Well, for more on this, uh, land claims specialist for uh, worksmen's attorneys, Bulelwa Mabasa, joins me now. Thank you so much for coming through. Bulelwa, so you attended this um, land summit called by the ANC over the weekend. Did it move us forward in any particular way yeah. in as far as the issue of land and yeah. expropriation without compensation is concerned? Yeah. Look, as a practitioner and as an attorney that's been in this area um, for 16 years, I think this was possibly the first time um, where the policy issues were actually dealt with in a substantial way and where I at least um, feel like it was a watershed moment, at least for the ruling party. Um, yes, it's true that you know we've had the ruling party ruling for 24 years um, and that we've, all, we've had the constitution you know, till then. So it's also you know, widely said that the, the, the land issues and the failure to implement policy um, came as a result of just you know, a lack of political will. So hopefully the outcomes um, from this weekend will lead us finally into resolving the land, qu the land question. Yeah, in fact, you use very, a very strong word, watershed moment. Mm -hmm. um, did you walk out of there any clearer about uh, whether the Constitution, Section 25, for mm -hmm. example, mm -hmm. will be uh, amended with the support of the ANC? Look, I think the, it's important to contextualize, A, that what was happening this weekend was that the ANC-NEC was being workshopped by various experts um, about you know, how we can take this, this, this matter forward. So this was as a result of the 54th ANC conference, which had resolved that there must be expropriation without compensation. I think from there, there was a, an understanding, or rather a misunderstanding by, uh, from various quarters, that saying that this to be expropriation without compensation automatically means that the constitution ought to be amended and I think what came out of this weekend um, quite uh, you know quite clearly was that we can have expropriation without compensation without necessarily having to resort to amending section 25 of the constitution so what um, I have always advocated for including um, other exp experts was that the constitutional framework within, within section 25 hasn't been fully um, implemented and explored and that what should happen now is that section 25 should be put to its test um sorry and that um the 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 resolutions or rather the recommendations from the workshop must now be implemented based on the current framing of the constitution yeah in fact with the words you're using are almost the exact words that were then used today by the anc leadership including ronald lamula mm. from his national executive committee talk to me about testing the limits of section 25. Yeah. what would that entail i mean other than you know expropriation of land that is being used for illegal purposes yes we've not really Really seen it being applied and yes. in fact the former deputy chief justice made a point of this to say for mm. 23 years at that time <clears throat> they had waited as the courts that the government would test yeah. the limits of section 25 yeah. what are the possibilities there look the possibilities there um, we've got section 25 3 in the Constitution which tells us exactly under what circumstances um, expropriation should happen subject to compensation um, and those circumstances include the history of the acquisition of the property so that means that we where it's shown that the property was not acquired uh, for a realization or that was it was donated, that would be one of those instances. Um, the ANC has already indicated that the property that sits within state-owned entities could be um, released immediately for purposes of redistribution and also properties where um, the absentee landlords so the biggest issue that has arisen um, out of the the last 20, 23 years um, out of the failure of, of implementing the land reform policy has been that we don't have legislation in that um, that 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 talks about redistribution so that would re that would include urban areas for example where land is the, 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 the hunger for land currently is in urban areas. So what came out of this recommendation was that there's not going to be an introduction of legislation that will deal particularly with the issue of land hunger because as you know, mm -hmm. um, the land reform topic has, has had as its bias agricultural land. Quick and final question, the whole issue around the expropriation bill, mm -hmm. uh, the ANC is now resolving that uh, this should be expedited and it should be passed. How important is this piece of legislation read with mm -hmm. other pieces of legislation including uh, our constitution look I think it's a significant piece of legislation um, in that legislation the, the expectation is that those circumstances that are going to make it possible for land to be expropriated without 
composition would be cleared out and spelled out in the expropriation bill um, in line with the constitution.